the challenge to always reproduce different images, to, to capture the emotion of the motorsport, to capture um, yeah, the event rather than just a car on a track. My photography, I suppose 30, over 30 years ago, I, I used to race motocross. I was injured one season and I, I've always been into photography so I picked up a camera and started photographing. Yeah, just went from there. So magazines started using my work. This is in the days of film. This is from, yeah, this is a long, long time ago. The challenge for me is to continually uh, change the way I do photos um, and reinvent myself all the time. Plus, every time I go back, I have new toys. I have new things to play with. I have new cameras. I have new lenses. Uh, I have new technology that enables me to get pictures I couldn't get before. You know, when I, I was shooting film, I was shooting 100 ISO or 400 ISO, and that was big. That was that was high ISO. Now. 1,000 ISO, 2,000. The technology convinced me that it's okay to do that. Some garage stuff at 6,400 ISO. I could never have done that. Um, even two years ago, three years ago. That's what uh, keeps me passionate about my photography. So my kit really consists of um, the two bodies and probably about six or seven lenses. I tried the 10 to 24 and it was superb. 16-55, that's, that's brilliant. 50-140 and the 100-400. So I have the four zooms. I also have the primes. I love the 23, uh, 1.4. The 16, 1.4. 56. Uh, 1.2 and the 90mm f2. Um, with the X, uh, H1, um, for me it's the, the in-body image stabiliser. Um, image stabiliser on, on these lenses, when I was testing the 100-400, in the pits, um, 50th of a second, handheld, um, 1250 ISO, uh, and the images were, were pin sharp. Some of these, like the 90mm, doesn't have image stabilizer. 56 doesn't have it. So to put it on the, on the X-H1 with image stabilizer in the body, it turns all my lenses into image stabilized lenses. You guys to have um, film simulations in your cameras. Um, it's fantastic because I can feel like I'm still shooting film. So Velvia is one of my favourites. Shot JPEG, Velvia simulation, and I also just tweaked the light, the white balance to shade so it actually intensified the colour. The quality of the x trans sensor uh, and the film simulation combination and the glass. I mean it's all about the glass really. Um, that was the 100 to 400. It's one of my favourite um, favourite lenses for motorsport. So that's about, what was that, 30th of a second? Um, I was using the 56mm. I never really used it in this sort of setting before because it wasn't image stabilised and it was a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge. Um, but the image stabiliser worked very, very well. Again, Vel Velvia simulation, so it brought out all the colours of the trees and the lake and the reflections, so it was very good. This is why I love motorsport. This is Bruno Senna winning the championship. Um, I just love the interaction between the driver and his crew. Um, they won the championship on the last round. They overtook the, the previous leader of the championship. So um, for me, that was um, that's a great moment in motorsport, and, and it's the main reason why I do enjoy what I do. You know, for me, uh, if it just becomes 
a job, then uh, it's time to stop. This is not a job for me. This is, this is a passion. This is something that uh, I've been doing for a long time. Um, things I'm doing now with this technology enables me to do uh, capture images that I could never capture before. So, you know, that's, that's the big thing for me. Um, as the technology changes, um, I'm able to uh, create new images uh, and that fuels my passion.